Love at first bite. Hi, I'm Kamsala Naidu. And I'm Kubeshin Naidu. And welcome to Love at First Bite. <laughs> Today we're in for a real treat. We're going to be doing a wonderful avocado and shrimp starter. Wow, that sounds okay. divine. All right, so are we getting uh, ready to get started? Yes, let's go. So we're going to begin with the starter. Okay. That is the avocado and shrimp starter. Right. And for this dish, mm -hmm. I think you're going to get started with chopping up the onion. And we have some shrimp. Okay. All cleaned and ready. Mm -hmm. And we have, of course, some really mini avocados. <laughs> and maybe you're just going to stone one more and uh, chop up the onions. Okay. So I'll just chop up the onions. <laughs> so you just need one onion, right? That's right. As fine as possible? As fine as possible, unless you want big chunks of onion in your mouth. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So how are we doing there? Very good, very good. There you go. Okay, okay. so you can just scoop all just of that into the bowl. And so I'm going to get the stove on. Mm -hmm. To get the onions in there. In there. All, right. all right, there you go. Oh, that's a bit messy. And there goes. There's your onions. There we go. Right, while you're doing that, I'll stone the avocado. That's right. So we're going to add a dash of olive oil in here. A splash of olive oil, rather. And I'm going to put one little dollop of butter. Because you know, butter makes everything taste nicer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, of course, we're going to get the onion in there. And we're going to wait for that to heat up. All right. While we're waiting for that to heat up, I'm going to ask Kamsala said stone an avocado. Mm -hmm. As basically, for those who don't understand, uh, take out the seed, right? That's right. Okay. You need to speak clearly for me. Now, the interesting thing with avocados is that if you were in an Indian home in the 70s and 80s, you'd always find that after they stone the avocado, yeah. We took the seeds out. I'm from Port Chefston, so... Okay. Uh, and you take the seed out. Well, you can't do it with this, though, actually. And put matchsticks in there. Yes. And stick it into a tumbler. A glass, you mean? Okay, a glass tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. then it would grow. So every Indian home would have an avocado tree growing in their kitchen. I would imagine yeah. many avocado trees if you did that for every avocado you stone. Well, I don't know. They never really grew. <laughs> okay. Anyway. And I think you want to get some lemon juice on there before it uh, discolors. If you don't get the lemon juice in there, then it discolors. Oh, okay. All right. So we just get a bit of a drop of lemon juice on there well on done. each one. Those are wonderful. There you go. So that's the avocado done. Yes. So I think while we're waiting for that, mm -hmm. you need to get each of those avocados into a piece of foil. Mm -hmm. Because when we get the shrimp ready, we're going to fill the avocados and we're going to bake it in the oven. So should I fold them into the foil now? You're just going to, uh, yeah, here's your tray. And oh, then you're going to put your... But the shrimp's not sure. You're just going to place them, yeah? So we just oh, have and to just put get shrimp it ready. on them. Okay. So of course we also need some cheese and we've grated some mozzarella and we've chosen mozzarella because it melts so easily and uh, of course it's, uh, if you brown it slightly it looks ever so wonderful. There you go. So we've got the onions on the go here mm -hmm. and as soon as this browns a little bit, if you had chopped this finer it would have been done by now. So it's my fault? I think so. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> So while the onion is still very busy frying, it's come up to a nice sizzle. I'm going to add, do you want to add the shrimp? That's fine. Okay, yeah. I'll add the shrimp. Yeah. I'll watch. You'll watch. Yeah. And then maybe you could get in here a spoon of um, salt and pepper. All right, here goes. Do you want rough salt or fine? I, I think some fine salt would be good because oh, okay. we want it to dissolve easily. And as you can see, you just I'm. Pour the whole thing yeah, I don't want to get the water in here. Oh. I'm sort okay. of doing a little bit of a draining exercise here. Okay, that's fine. Thank, Thank you. you very much. There you go, here's your salt. And I'm just still letting the onion sit at the bottom of the pan. And I've got some salt in here. 
a lovely little drizzle, quite mm -hmm. generous. There you go. And then we're also going to be pretty generous with the coarsely ground black pepper. Oh. I'm going to throw that in there. Mm, smells divine. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And then um, just one little grind of some chili. This is a chili salt, okay. but it's going to give it a little bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that kind of kick. Okay. All right. And there you go. Can you see how uh, the shrimp is all shrunk? Okay. There you go. So we put them in. They were pretty large. Mm -hmm. And then they... So what, what, because it's full of water or...? Well, yeah. It mm. was um, it was frozen shrimp. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, the heat has also made them curl up a bit. Mm -hmm. And there you go. So that's going to dry up a bit. And in the meanwhile, we're going to get the cheese sorted out. Okay. Uh, the cheese is ready. The avos are ready. So while this is, um, is drying, mm -hmm. taking its time to dry, okay. uh, we have soaked here a, a slice of white bread mm -hmm. and I've, put, uh, I've soaked it in milk. And you're going to take a fork and you're just going to mash this down. Now the reason that you would do this in any stuffing is that it makes it so moist, apart from uh, bulking it up a little bit, it also makes the filling absolutely moist. So you could do this with anything, with meatballs, with um, uh, shrimp, with okay. you name it. Uh, right, can you I'm, get me a fork? I can get you oh, a fork. While she's getting the fork, please, I just need some help. I'm really not re interested in helping out in the kitchen. So guys, please send me some messages uh, on WhatsApp or Facebook or Instagram or anything on how to escape. So send me your messages sharp, right? Thanks. Right, so yes, of Yes, course. oh, right, really, I'm really interested. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Whew. What do I do here? Should you just mash it up? Like with the fork? Yep. Okay. Like you would like a mashed potato. One of the tricks is to always look like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, so mash it hard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hard <laughs> or soft, just, just so that it's sort of, yeah. Oh, okay. There you go, because I don't think that in your starter you want to know that you've got a piece of bread or thing. Oh, okay. okay. And if you wanted to, you could have removed the crusts, but I like them. Oh, okay. <laughs> a bit too late for you <laughs> to remove the crusts now. There you go. All right, that's wonderful. And our shrimps have dried quite a bit. There you oh, go. Oh, it's really sp it's splashing all over. Is that okay? That's all right. Yeah. You're going to clean up afterwards. You see? You see? Uh, yeah, no, I'll clean up. <laughs> <laughs> well done. All right, I think this is more or less done. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so could you just like drop that in here? In the... Yes, so oh. the shrimp is nearly done and we've mashed up a slice of bread with some milk and Kabeshian's going to drop that in here and I'm going to give it a brisk stir. You can just go for it, just drop the whole thing in. Well done. There you go. Give it a bit of a mix. You're and now going to add fresh the cream. cream. Yes. You want the entire cup? I don't, I don't think so. We're just going to add to to taste. get a texture. Okay, right, so, so that's go. fresh cream. I think about a quarter of the cup. Okay. Right, that's enough. Thank you very much. There you go. Okay, and if you look here, we have an absolutely wonderful and creamy sauce that we're going to fill the avocados with. You want to taste? Yes, go for it. Yeah, you taste first. Okay. Or well, we get the cook to taste. Mm. That is really yummy. Very yeah, good. You can't put the same spoon in there, can you? Yeah, I'm glad yeah. that. <laughs> all right, so here goes. Um, it's all done. It's wonderful and creamy. Uh -huh. um, I would actually like to add a little more black pepper. There you go. That's why I got you to taste. See? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Sprinkle of black pepper. Mm -hmm. And there we go. We're done. So we're ready to fill our avocados and cover them in cheese. So there we go. We've got the avocado in the foil. Of course, we're going to scrunch it up as soon as we've covered it with cheese. So if it spills in here, that's fine. The person that's getting this will also have it 
sort of encased in the foil. So they, you're gonna put some cheese on that. Thank you. You can be pretty generous with your cheese. Everybody mm -hmm. likes lots of cheese. There we go. Thank you. And two more to go. So what do you do with this once it's all... So we're going to bake this in the oven. Oh, So if you have a whole lot of them, you'd use an, a muffin tray and just put them into each of the little uh, hollows and then it would bake perfectly. And for how long? And uh, please note that everything's already all cooked. But the avocado doesn't have to cook. So this is just to melt the cheese. At average temperature? Uh, I would put it in at maybe 200. Uh, for like five minutes. Okay. So if you prepare this in advance and when your guests arrive, mm -hmm. you would then just, there you go, you stick this into the oven and then of course everybody gets a little dessert fork and one parcel of shrimp. So right now we're going to take this and we're going to stick it into the oven. There you go. All right. Okay. All right, so that's, that's our, our starter. starter. All done, tucked mm -hmm. away into the oven. Well, this seems to be done. There you go. Lovely starter. The cheese all melted. There you go. with some lovely avocado, some shrimp, some cheese, and let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Very tasty starters. <laughs> well, you can make this up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very nice. 